going on, guys? <laughs> it has been a minute. The lighting is not that good, to be honest. You don't think so? But what's going on, guys? It's been a minute. We're on our way to the hospital. The hospital. <laughs> Basically, our life now. Our, our life is every other day yeah. in the hospital, but for good reasons. Is it really? Yes, because you get to have care. I guess. And you also get to figure out more about what is wrong and how can you learn to take care of yourself how to combat that. Mm-hmm. But, ah! we got the soldier back there screaming. We're on our way to the hospital. Sorry for the bad lighting. The sun is setting at almost three. I mean, it probably will set like at four or something, right? Yeah, 20 but minutes it's later, starting. it's dark. So yeah, we're on the way to the hospital. I have a neurologist appointment neurology yeah. capoxin is very common it's one of the first ms treatments don't quote me on that i'm not really really sure but i know it's one of the first um and there's a lot of studies and it's the one that is less invasive uh, meaning you don't really need to monitor like your blood work or you know just check your levels on your blood to see if everything is fine um, because it is less invasive um, than an IV infusion and stuff like that, but it's still it's still a tough process. I'm not gonna lie. And to be honest with you, like this whole MS thing, I, I I've always been sick since I was like 15 years old. But I feel like ever since I got this diagnosis of MS, everything has gone by so quick. Like, I feel like it's so hard to process it all because it just happened so fast um, that I'm still processing all of this. You know, I think it's been tough on, on us because our life has been so crazy these past couple of couple of months um, and it's honestly very sad to be honest with you because you know I just look back you know when I was pregnant with Luna and I was like oh I'm so tired of being pregnant you know I'm so uncomfortable but there's nothing more in life that I would want to right now than to feel that again because when I was pregnant I, I felt I felt great besides all the pregnancy symptoms and stuff and now I'm just dealing with all this health problems and it's tough on everyone I'm not gonna lie today is toxin day three and today we are going to inject on the hip which i'm really nervous about um so yeah let's see what happens hopefully i don't feel like crap after um because today is you know friday and i don't want to feel like sh <laughs> to be honest with you guys i don't really know what my future holds with treatments it's not fun it's not the ideal situation that i want to be in to having to inject myself um it's not easy but you know let's see what happens so yeah i also record over on my tiktok if you guys want to follow me i have been recording my injections every day today is my last dose of the week and then we start up on monday again and do monday wednesday friday and then i have two days off and then i start again next week um but yeah i'm just waiting for my 
Capoxin to be ready to ingest. It's done. Concludes a week of Kapoxin. <sighs> See you guys on Monday. Mm -hmm.